and she's got this race. Wendy Koenig from the Colorado Gold, from Estes Park, Colorado. National AAU champion, 880, 2044, unofficially. Mary Decker picked off second place, and Cheryl Toussaint come up for third. But there she is, Wendy Gold. Wendy Koenig from the Colorado Gold. I'm Wendy Koenig, native of Estes Park. And I competed when I was 17 in my first Olympics in Munich, Germany. Second time was in 1976. I was at Colorado State University uh, on an athletic scholarship for Title IX. I was the first Title IX athletic scholarship person. I started running actually in the elementary school races and the PE teacher used to let me be in extra races because I just kept winning things. Then eventually I started competing. I got invited down to a meet in Broomfield when I was 13. I scored high enough in the pentathlon to go to the Junior Olympics and the regional competitions in my first meet and I joined the Colorado Gold. It took teachers and other people encouraging me. If she wouldn't have sent me down to Broomfield, I might not be sitting here as an Olympian. So. I'm pretty fortunate. I want to be sure and mention this. In Estes Park, while I was running, we weren't a wealthy family. And so Lions Club sold brooms. Rotary did fundraisers. I babysat also. So besides cleaning rooms, I babysat, but I got paid extra per hour. And it was so I could go and compete. So the community has always supported me. I competed internationally for 16 years. So I've been all over the world and meeting lots of people and athletes. I find that Estes Park feels like home because people come from everywhere. And I really love the diversity that we have in Estes Park with all of our visitors and many of the people that live here. I think that's how, why I became mayor was to give back. There are some people that don't like to have women as mayors, and so that's part of my motivation to coming in and saying anybody can do the job if they're motivated, and I want people to feel good about themselves. I think we'll have more women mayors now. That's what normally happens. You just never know what the world is gonna to bring together for you and who you're gonna to get to meet. So I try to be nice to people and be friendly and get to know them and put people at ease. I hope I do a good job. And uh, that way we can get to know them. And there's a wide range of attitude and ideas out there. So in learning about it is very important and not just tunneling oneself and protecting themselves against all the different varieties in the world. What inspires me about Estes Park is to see that after all these years, we still have friendly, nice people coming in and welcoming others in our community. And people who love outdoors, who love to be active. And I think it's all the hellos you get downtown as you go around. You don't feel isolated by yourself. So, and then of course the weather. Who can beat all this snow? And who can beat Long's Peak? It's just gorgeous to look at and we're so lucky.